Hi right, guys, welcome back to the show. Green Zebra Gardening here. I'm going through and I'm cleaning out my worm bin. I'm sifting it, getting out some of the worms, getting out some of the castings. I'm working on the second tray now. The first tray is that middle one. So I'm going through and all I gotta do is just sift. I know there are a lot easier ways to do this. You put it in the sun, you move the food all over to one side and whatever. You know what, this is what's working for me. So I'm dumping all the excess that hasn't been um, processed. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up. It's really not that hard. Put in a little bit of it. And shake it out. Be right back. Yes, some of the worms will fall through if your holes are too big. I like that one there. Here's a few more. Around the other bin. The paper I have the kids help me shred them up. Um, I don't think it's going to be enough for this uh, tray, Depend uh, just based upon how much I used the last time. So I may go in and get some stuff out of the shredder or see if I can find some more newspaper. You can always substitute it for coconut core as well. I just like the newspaper because it's dry and it's going to suck up all the moisture that's in here. Um, I guess I could let the, the coconut core dry. All right, guys, so it's pretty much done. I mean, there's a little bit left over in there, but that's fine. This is what I got out of those two. Maybe to take a couple gallons. Man, this thing goes in pretty deep. So I'm looking at a, about I'd say a gallon or two. They're just straight worm castings. These are a little wet. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in here with all his buddies. And we're gonna start filling this uh, thing back up. And in case you're wondering, this is the hot frog worm bin composter. Um, this was gifted over by Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. I don't remember the price off the top of my head. I'll go ahead and put the link below. But at any rate, put this back on. Pushing down, I've only got one, I've only got two hands. So now what we're gonna do, is just use this paper. Yes, it's not funny, threaded, and you know, whatever. But, it's gonna suck up some moisture. I will need to go ahead and probably get some more food scraps, because the ones I had out here, I used for the first bin. Yeah, for the first bin time on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump a little bit of this in here. And this one isn't as compacted as its first, or the first one. But, you know, there's still some avocado shells in here that are basically just like falling apart. So, I'll be right back. Let me go see what I can find to put in here. And I'll dump some more of this, uh, this basically unbroken down stuff. There's still some paper and there's some leaves. And obviously the worms. I'm okay. good. You know what? I'm going to bring you along. So this is the bed that has a lot of the nasturtiums that came up. I'm just gonna pull a few. And I'm not really doing this in any way scientific. I just know that we need to get rid of some of these because I wanna thin I'm gonna thin them out because um, they're just way too overcrowded. So that'll be one I'm gonna into the shade over here. So that'll probably be good for a couple layers. We'll see. Okay. So you get those insertions just to give them a little something more fresh. But this is when you start going to your fridge and seeing what else is going bad. I don't know how long you've had the celery. It is organic. Chances are my mother-in-law brought it over for something. She likes celery. She likes cooking with it. I don't like it raw. I only like it cooked. Um, we don't do the whole celery juice thing, but these guys are gonna get some celery. We're gonna cut it up, cut it up, put it in here, do a few more layers, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so we're back. I use my trusty bare bones uh, toy. Hori Hori, I couldn't think of the name. 
This is the recommendation that came from Jess over at Roots and Refuge. If you're watching me, you probably know about her, and so you know how much she loves this thing. Um, but anyways. I cut up some of the celery with that. Cuts beautifully. Now, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it up some more. Just one of this paper. And I realize some people, um, chop off the stuff and, or shove it through the, or put it through the food processor to, you know, make it easy for to the worms that I just, and I get that. They get through it faster. But you know what? Last time I checked on this, it was probably about a month ago. So, <laughs> I want them to take their time to get through this. I mean, just the one harvest. I mean, this is a lot of castings. I think I'm going to let them dry out a bit. Spread them at least overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the um, over at the pomegranate tree and kind of mix it in with the plants I just put out today. Anyways, then just move away. Take making lasagna, which eventually we will eat. You will eat. You're gonna use this awesome fertilizer in your. You use this awesome fertilizer in your garden, and it's gonna help you grow some amazing plants. Actually, that's almost all of it. Guess what? That is all of it. So now, I'm going to cut this up and put the rest of that newspaper on there and I might go see if I can find a few more sheets. But, for now, I'll be right back. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it. Put the rest of the newspaper on there. Put it back up. Um, I don't need to water it or anything because it's got enough moisture. Trust me. That's why I had to add the newspaper. So. That's it for now and let me grab this off of here. Because it was sitting. Let me show you what I was actually sitting this thing on. I'm sitting right here. Just so you guys can get that shot. We'll have to see how it ends up in editing. Turn it. And that's it. If you're joining me on this journey, you leave those alone. I'm going to cast these, we're going to put over here. I'm going to chill. I'll drop that in there. And that's it. Um, in the comments below, where are we? Below, down there, you know where it is. Uh, click, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Leave me a comment, let me know what you are doing. Are you composting at home with worms? Are you doing the regular composting way? Are you not composting at all? No, you're just buying the fertilizers from the store, Amazon or wherever. If I'm doing something horribly wrong, I want to know about it. You know, just don't be mean. Alright, that's it. Catch you on the flip side.